Hi, Stacy Rossetti. Hey guys, everybody. Thank you for hopping onto this, this video. Looking forward to hear what Ted has to say about tax lien deeds, tax certificates, defaulted properties. Can you give us like a review of kind of what you've been talking about in the last couple of sessions? Sure. Um, well, on the first videos, we talked about tax liens, especially, and anybody wants to buy tax liens, they're available in about half of the states and half of the counties in the United States. Uh, they pay outrageous interest rates, 16 percent, 18, 24, up to 36 percent interest on a tax certificate. And if you buy a tax certificate and the property owner doesn't pay you, you get the property. Now, I didn't make that rule. It was made by the government 200 years ago. Now, there's two businesses in one. The other side of the business is the other states, which are not so benevolent, like New York and, and uh, California and so on. If they don't collect the tax from you, they're going to send you a notice of default, and then they're going to seize the property. They're going to take the property away from you. They're going to confiscate it, and then they're going to sell it. Now, when they sell it, they sell it at a tax deed auction. The starting bid at a tax deed auction is generally just the back taxes. So hold on a second. $400,000 house, it might have $20,000 in taxes due. That might be where the auction starts. I don't know where it'll end. It'll end with the highest bidder buying it. So these properties are available nationwide. They never sell all the tax defaulted property, but every county in the United States will sell tax defaulted. About half the properties will sell tax lien certificate. You can get involved in both of those and we teach classes on it. The next one's on the 27th of this month and we'll look forward to having you there. So I've had a couple of questions from some of the people listening in and they were wondering, one of the questions they had was like, you know, how much money do you need to start? What if they only have a couple thousand dollars? Is it possible to do that? You can start for a couple of thousand. I want to give you a, a, a good example of that. Um, we teach people, you don't want to start with 50 bucks or hundred bucks. You could say that. You don't want to try to get in for no money, but someone under $10,000. So I'm just going to show you an, an example of a, of a gentleman in Tampa, Florida. And what he did is he went to a lot of auctions. I think he went to 20 auctions before he got one. Now, he kept getting outbid. So that means he's going to auctions that got a lot of people. So anyway, he went to an auction in one county north of Orlando, Florida, and he spent $9,000. Now, we teach everybody the same thing. You need boots on the ground. So he knew that, and he made sure he drove out there and looked at that property and took pictures of it. He got other people to look at it. But the house did not look like it was had a lot of value and had trees. Some of the trees, the branches were down under the house. So it really needed cleanup. It just had been neglected, although there's people living in it. So the power was still on, the water was still on, whatever. So I went to the auction. And for some reason, the bidding started low at about five or 6,000, which was the back taxes. Okay, he bid and there was one other bidder. That bidder went up to 6,000 or seven. He went to $9,000 and the bidding stopped. All right, now he's got $9,000 invested. Plant that in your mind for just a second. Only $9,000 invested. He went back out to the property and rechecked it. Sure enough, he ended up with this property and he got a couple of people working on it. His first offer on the property was from the people that lived in it. They said, we'll give you a $5,000 down payment and then we will make payments up to $140,000. Where well, my going? name is Nolby Madrid from Tampa, Florida. I'm originally from Honduras. Yep. Thank you. So um, I went to probably 10 or 11 different auctions, and then on November the 3rd, I got a property yeah. for $9,100. So there is the property right there. I had to actually pay somebody else $3,500 to clean it up. Um, so they actually did all of the work. I didn't do nothing to this property except for, you know, put it up on Craigslist, uh, Facebook, uh, all of these websites. As soon as I got it, the same day I started putting it on different places. And uh, Facebook does, you know, make you put a number in there. So I just put a dollar and then on the bottom the description, I put, you know, contingent to an appraisal. And um, I offer, you know, seller financing, work for equity. I, you know, as many, de as much detail to attract more people into the property. Just keep in mind, you guys are providing an opportunity over there, whether you're selling a mobile home, you're selling a manufacturer home, whatever you guys selling out there, there is somebody that's in need of that, you know? I mean, it's not, you, I mean, if these people will have gone to the bank, they probably, they don't have good credit, keep in mind, you know? So they actually, you actually providing an opportunity for all of these people to come and achieve home ownership. Regardless, I had 138 people at this property. So, I mean, it's not like, in, it's not a flea market, you know, but 
I'm getting this house and I'm providing, you know, everybody keep on calling me. Most of the people that call me, you know, we're trying to figure out, hey, how does this seller financing work? What is the down payment? And I say, go buy the property, look at the property. We're going to be having an open house on Saturday. Go buy the property. There's many opportunities. There's many ways that we can structure this deal if this makes sense for you and your family. And I mean, we have a whole bunch of people there. So I ended up getting this property, put on an agreement for this, which is land contract for $170,000. On that $170,000, I ended up getting $5,950 down. So I got that. I got it within 60 days. I didn't do no repairs to it. They got rid of all of the garbage. I gave them a discounted rent for the first year for $1,400 a month. And they are actually doing all the repairs, redoing the bathrooms and you know, so making it nice and clean. They already replaced the, the hardwood flooring. They didn't like the laminate flooring that it has. So they replace all of the hardwood floorings for me. So worst case scenario, they walk away, I still have the property, it's in a better condition, and I keep the money. Folks, that was on a $9,000 investment. So folks, to get started for $9,000 looks pretty darn good to me. Now there's a lot of cases that happen like that. And there's a lot of cases where he could have just sold the property and got his money, he had offers, but he liked the idea that he could get installment payments for the next 10 years. So. What do you like to call it? Owner financing, whatever you like to call it, getting those installments meant a lot to him. That was his first deal that he ever did. Now, he went to a lot of auctions before he got that great deal, but that was a pretty good deal. So that's a pretty good answer for you. Well, that sounds all nice and easy. I mean, what about the complications? Can you give us like a few examples of those? Yeah, there's uh, uh, competitions uh, for me, a competition at the auction. Com I'm sorry, complications. Complications. Oh, oh, here's what the complication is. you got to know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you could really mess up. All right. So what do you have to do? Uh, the easiest thing to do is get yourself a coach and have someone coach you all the way through it. If you don't want to do that, come and spend a day with us and we'll teach you a whole bunch of things that you have to do, like check the property out, like know what values in the area are. You don't have to be a real estate person. If you're not a real estate person, it's okay. The people that are attracted to this business are investors. What you only want to do is you want to buy properties for 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar. Then you want to sell them. I don't teach buy and hold. I teach buy them. And then if you bought it low, then I want you to sell it low. For example, buy it for 30 cents on the dollar, sell it for 60 cents on the dollar. If you want to accelerate your sale, do an installment sale because it's 25% of the market can't get financing. They'll buy the property very quickly from you. And then as they get their life adjusted, they'll pay you off or they'll pay you off monthly. So I teach people buy low, sell low, but the complications are not difficult. It's nowhere near as difficult as buying and selling houses real at, uh, at from real estate people. It's not like the people that are buying fixer uppers. I teach people don't fix them up, clean them up and sell them. I know some people are just dead set on fixing them up, but if you can buy a property for 20 or 30 cents on the dollar, and then you want to fix it up, you got plenty of room between that and what the retail is. So we teach you all the steps of that. I don't think it's complicated, but you're not going to get it in two weeks. It does require study. Yeah, pretty much. I'd say pretty much everybody that follows me is going to be an investor or like a wannabe investor, you know. So, um, you know, you know, can you make more? You said you said nine thousand dollars on the last. So can can you make more than nine thousand? Can you make 20 or 30 or 50 or, you know, more than that? What's typical? Oh, typical is in that. 25 to 50 range. That's very typical. But I can show you lesson after lesson after lesson of people making $100,000. Problem with that is everybody says, oh, Ted, I can't make 100000 on these properties. Well, let's make some 25s and some 50s, you know, like some base hits, as they say in baseball, that gets you through the game. And when you make those, but your, your turn is going to come. I mean, this guy, on the first one he finally got, he's going to make over a hundred thousand. But you know, if you make twenty-five and fifty grand a property, three or four of those a year is going to make a, a nice living. You're not going to do that. Keep your job. If you get my rule is, if you've got a job, keep your job. That's rule number one. Rule number two is re-listen to rule number one. Keep your job. You don't have to quit your job. Keep that going because auctions are always scheduled. All of the all of the research can be done online, and we have people teaching that every day how to research and how to figure out all the properties within five miles of it. We can figure out every price and never go there. Now, what about like, you know, it's a virtual world. Again, we talked about this. I just want to make sure that people understand that they can also do this online and they can buy in other states and, and this kind of thing. 
Yeah, good idea. Um, all of the, almost all of the auctions will be online. Okay, now some communities, uh, like especially in Texas, th they like to have their auctions. So people will come and get together and stuff like that. All right, but even in Texas, you can buy online. But almost in every county that I know of now, there's gonna be an online auction and an offline. So if they have offline, just wait a little while and they'll start online or go to another county. But I would say a good, when I started, nothing was online, but now I would say a good 85% of all the auctions, tax liens or tax deeds can be done online. So if you can do that and you're pretty good at using the telephone, we'll teach you techniques where you can have other people go look at the property. But I would say, don't buy a property unless you've seen it, boots on the ground yourself, but you can find out a lot by people going out and looking at properties for you and sending you pictures. Everybody got, everybody's got a phone nowadays. So what about like, you know, what about the like older, like older folks and stuff? You know, if they're in their 50s, 60s, 70s, is this something that they can do? You know, is it realistic? Like that, that older mm -hmm. folks at 50, 60 and 70. I heard that. Okay, I'm 45. Uh, so it's OK. It's all right. I don't okay. mind. I don't mind. You know, this is funny <laughs> because uh, my audience that, that gets involved with me is 45 to 105. <laughs> All of the people I talk to have gray hair. No, I don't even have gray. Yeah, I got you, I'm white. Sure you attract right. a lot of people that are that age. Yeah. Right. Here's sure the challenge. Them. Young people, for the majority, it's more important to get a new BMW and to be able to be at the right place on Friday and Saturday. I get it. I was one of those people. All right. I'm no longer. So I try to market to people at a 45 to 105. I'm on the internet now, so we get a lot of younger people. Anybody can do this. My average client, uh, the deals when I show you, those people are going to have gray hair. That's for sure. Because they got money to do it. Young people buying new houses, buying new cars, buying new clothes, and having a whole flock of kids. That all yeah. costs a lot of money. Yeah. Good. Yeah. As I said, I'm sure, I'm sure you attract a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know, that those types of people. So I just wanted to bring that question up. And then also, so finally, you know, finally, like, can you go, I want to hear like your best deal ever. Like, tell us about that. Can you tell me? Well, I've got a guy that works for me. His name is Bob Schumacher. He's a coach. Maybe you'll get him as a coach if you become a client. So Bob has done over 150 deals, a hundred of them in Georgia alone. He lives in Macon, Georgia. Okay. okay so Bob, likes to buy property. All right, so he bought a property. This is unbelievable. I'm gonna put it on video so you can see it. He bought a property for $67 in Oklahoma. He was teaching at one of my classes, which we doing classes in Tulsa at the time, because sometimes we'd travel around and do the class. Two or 300 people show up when we, when we go there. Our regular classes only have 100, but when we travel somewhere, everybody and their brother from that place come. So, on, the, on, the, on his day off, he's out looking around, bought a property $67, and the people never came in and paid the tax. And he sold that property for over $20,000. I'd have to say that the best dollar-for-dollar uh, dollar deal I've ever done on a piece of land it happened in Oklahoma. I went out to an outlying county, and I bought a tax lien. The tax lien was on a 25-acre piece of land. The tax lien was only $67.12. Uh, you'd think that nobody would ever abandon a piece of land for that small of a tax bill, but things like that do happen. And guess what? Those people never did pay that tax. They never redeemed that tax lien, and I ended up getting the tax deed to that property. I eventually sold that piece of land for $22,500. It's not uncommon to make ten or $20,000 off of a deal. How good is that? Now, you can't even have dinner at Denny's for $67. <laughs> awesome. I love it. All right. So that happens all that happens all the time. I don't tell people expect to do that, but he's done 150 deals. As a matter of fact, uh, anybody that hasn't learned about this business, if you didn't do anything else, learn about it because there's so many deals on land that nobody understands. And if you're willing to put a few thousand dollars into it, you will find that you can buy land that's worth twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollars. And if you're willing to sell it, on installment sale, oh my goodness, you can get a big profit. Uh, I mean, two or three hundred percent profit selling it, and then two or three hundred percent more on the installment sale. So believe me, this business is perfect for the people who want to do that. That's the people that have just a small amount of money. They buy a small piece of land, but it's a specialty business. 
You need to have a land broker. You need to understand surveys. You need to understand all land looks the same when you get out of the car. When you get out of the car, it all looks the same. There's no lines out there. You don't know what's good. You don't know if it's got drainage. You don't know if it's got water. You don't know if it, you don't know anything about it. So you can't do that without a land broker or someone like Bob to do it. But I, I can't teach you that because I'm not a land broker. But my point is, I understand how to make money. I can show you how to make money with it at the tax auction. But you'll have to do the work of checking. But that's going to be the same thing as buying a house. It's not any different. Yeah. All right. So we're going to button it up. So um, uh, for all of you that uh, are really interested in this, and I hope you are, uh, you can come to an event that I'm going to do. And right below me, we'll put a registration. All right. It's not a free event. It's not free. It costs you $47, $47.50. Okay, I don't do anything free, but you'll get hundreds, even thousands of dollars worth of information. All right, here's what's going to take place. An all-day tax lien certificate and tax deed workshop, okay? I'm going to bring people with me that have, some have done 60 deals in six years. Others have done 150 deals. Others are buying tax certificates and investing 100,000 in tax certificates and they're making two and three and four thousand dollars a month. All right. So there's plenty of ways to make money. We're going to teach you all those ways during that six hour class. Starts at 11. It ends at five in the afternoon. If you're on the West Coast, you have to get up early on Saturday. It's on the 27th. You can just go right below me and register. I hope you've enjoyed what we talked about. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, for listening in. And um, we hope to see you at the workshop. Take care.